now we move to our headliner. Yes, to the Doppia yeah? rocket. Okay, and this we, right. we do as a trio, I think, okay? Good. With uh, Chada? Chada, yes. Okay. And now we have a look, I think, uh, from the top. So we removed all the cups and a uh, uh, cup tray in order to look inside. Yeah, and here we have two stainless steel boilers. The front boiler here is for espresso, so we have two circuits of espresso and one circuit for steam and hot water. And uh, the stainless steel boiler is welded from two sides. So from inside in order to avoid corrosion problem, from outside here yeah, uh, like normal for the tightness. And uh, here we have accessible all uh, parts uh, like the solenoid valves, all valves from the top, okay, in order to replace them. And for example here you can just close the valve and and then replace the uh, steam valve. Uh, so that's a super easy way in order to guarantee a quick maintenance. Because here we have a commercial machine supplied with uh, 380 volts. And uh, yeah, now the phone bimmels, but I have to tell him. Uh, I call later. <laughs> yeah, so uh, here we have uh, the machine ready and this one operating now is the uh, vacuum valve. And uh, what else are the important features, Daniele? Uh, what can you tell me? Or oh, Chada? Ah, Chada is our new expert. Not the technician, but I yeah. play the main feature about Yeah, that. okay. Of course, we have a dual boiler machine, so we are talking about one boiler for the coffee, as he was saying. For the two groups, is a 4 liters capacity, and the steam uh, boiler is a 9 liters capacity. When we switch to the three groups, it is a 6 liter and 12 liters capacity for, for the steam boiler. Um, what else? The, of course, we are talking about a uh, stainless steel machine. So, uh, internally speaking, the two boilers are um, a easy free uh, 16L so stainless steel. And for the bodies, we are talking about a easy 304. Okay? So, we are talking about material externally and internally stainless steel. Super nice, yeah. Uh, I just need the picture here, the Milchschaumkännchen, das Kupferne, yeah. Cool, yeah. One important thing to underline is that it is completely dry steam, okay? <laughs> wow, yeah. super power, really. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. and. Uh, as we can see uh, here, another news that we put is that we have two manometers, but digital manometers. Okay, so one for the pressure of the boilers and one for the pressure uh, while brewing coffee. Okay, so we see the bars of the two different digital manometers. That is cool. So the four bar means the tap pressure from the main water. You can also reduce a little bit uh, by, by a, a valve uh, where you regulate maybe a two bar. Uh, I think two bar is uh, better in the yeah, long run. Exactly. And uh, yeah, but uh, we installed it now uh, quite. Uh, new lease in order to to test it because it's the new machine from World of Coffee exactly. and so uh, yeah we can see that uh, all parts are easily accessible but now we close the machine here with this one inside outside and uh, yeah Jack. So nice. And so here on top are the cups and of course uh, uh, the boiler is not isolated. Uh, why? 
because we don't need here a cup warmer because the two boilers it's sufficient to have the right temperature okay right. okay super nice wow yeah and so now we have here different buttons it's a single double dose the p is the manual one yeah. and this one here is for the flushing so if you like to make a short flush before uh, making espresso, then it's of course nice to have uh, the water just with the right temperature. Like I always compare with a beer tap, it's uh, similar. And uh, so for the grinder, we use now just, uh, uh, yeah, more or less, uh, 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 this one universal we will take next week uh, exact uh, testing with uh, Leandro Fedele he's the real barista and now we just do a little easy going so here with this temper you also have the rotation and now we check whether extraction is more or less correct or not I didn't wait now. So as we see, it runs a little bit too fast. So either more coffee powder or a little bit finer. In my opinion, it was uh, not enough coffee powder, but uh, you can adjust it according to your need. And uh, of course, in the bar, it's always the one-step philosophy, so everything should be ready to use. And uh, therefore, we, we just check whether it also works with a small chuck or a big chuck. You see, so we have all possibilities, but I think it's easier to start with the big chuck and to see the result here. First condensed water, now here. That's the quick and dirty option. Okay, the real option is like this. That's the barista mode. The, the other one is uh, for someone not so educated. And uh, so we will see how the uh, extraction works. I just imitate now Mr. Leandro, okay? And uh, because uh, here with commercial machines, you always have the motto, like uh, time is money. And uh, so for this, you uh, need to be a little bit fast because customers are more or less impatient. So then we insert here a little bit of milk like I've shown. Yeah, okay. So I think it's already presentable. Yasmin, can you test, please? And give your comment if it's acceptable or not. Okay, cool. Even the coffee was slightly under extracted, but uh, with the milk, you can uh, cover your imperfection, okay? That's uh, very important because when you're a little bit under pressure, it's uh, always like this that you do not meet the perfect point. But already 95% are enough because when you go to a normal cafeteria, many of the uh, personnel have not so much knowledge about the machine. So it should be also user friendly. This is why I showed this uh, quick and dirty method of uh, foaming uh, here when you just uh, put it in the normal way. And therefore we also have two grinders. One mainly is for coffee and the other one is for espresso. So this is the standard. And uh, of course with the one brew unit uh, you use for espresso and the other brew unit you set for coffee coffee and therefore you can also set two different temperatures no it's it's one it's one temperature Mixed one temperature colors. okay and uh, so you um, yeah it's not that sophisticated but it's uh, I would say the dual boiler entry level 
Uh, how do you uh, would describe this machine in the total segment? I would say it's a, it's a good boiler, fully stainless steel, and uh, it is more like uh, the, the, the say the, the riding horse, so the horse yeah. under the, the dual boiler. Okay, cool, cool, super. So I'm interested now in uh, working with the bottomless filter holder and this bottomless filter holder needs a little bit more, um, more attention. Why? Because it has no bottom. Okay, here. And this means that you need to work more accurate. And so I just... can use uh, more or less a 20, 21 gram. And before the tamping part is here now important, the leveling. Here you clean it, okay. And then you tamp. So now it's tamped and then we will see from below whether I'm a good worker or a bad one, okay? Now uh, we can look from down. I press now the button and now we can see how Mr. Marcus is working. Okay, now it should come together and it's a little bit uh, too much coffee, okay? As you see, I was too lazy and didn't uh, wait my coffee, so it's uh, classical over extraction, you see? So that's uh, typical when you do it very artificial or very spontaneously, then you can also uh, make mistakes. And uh, so now one more attempt with the scale. And then we see exactly how our machine works and if the grinder is set correctly or not. So therefore we have our scale here on off. We put now empty uh, mark here and now we, we can also do like this. What did you, we use? Now 20 gram, this could be okay for bottomless. Uh, it's also said that it's for 21 gram, but as you see, 20 is already quite a lot. And now I can say, um, give a much better expertise whether the grinding degree is wrong or not. But now I know it's 20 uh, gram. And so the second attempt, now the flushing function. Now I insert again and press the manual button. And now we see whether there is a difference or not. And yes, there is a difference. So I think the major mistake was not the grinding degree, but uh, the amount of coffee. So this is what you have to check uh, when you set up the machine, whether the amount of coffee is uh, right or wrong and whether grinding degree is right or wrong. And here you see a uh, crema looks uh, quite nice. And so yeah, we can start again for another one. Here, correct position is like this. Yeah. And here, we, it's also like the gas pedal of the car. Here, looks nice. So, first sip. Yeah, so more or less, uh, yeah, that's it. So I uh, test myself. Uh, 
Ah, good. Wow, yeah. <laughs> Even I'm not a milk monster, but here you can see what happens that it's a turbulent uh, jet and therefore milk always uh, enters the steam one so it's really important to flush once again shortly after you uh, did your foam. Okay, so that's it more or less. Uh, yeah. Chada, what else can we say about the um, machine? Yes, we can enter a little bit the menu. Yes, yes, please, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. See the different parameters of the machine. Okay. See how to um, how to change it. Yes, so please. Pressing the pin and one dose. Okay. We enter the menu. Ah, here. Yeah, okay. Okay. So in the menu, what can we do? Service boiler, one point twenty. We can reduce or. Okay. Ah, we can yeah, reduce the pressure or rise the pressure. Exactly. Okay, cool. According to our barista skill or the milk we use or the technique or whatever. So, uh, yeah. Then we have the coffee boiler, so we can basically reduce yeah. or to put another uh, degrees. Yeah. It's very simple, okay, according uh, to the coffee that we have. Uh, which uh, buttons you press here? It's uh, this one for this minus? One? Yes. The one for minus and the P for plus? Exactly. Okay. We can see also here yeah. the pre infusion. Yeah. We can ah. set the seconds of the yeah. pre infusion. Yeah, nice. If you want to set it. Yes. So from zero to a maximum of six seconds. Okay, cool. Okay. Then we have date and time, and we enter in the menu by keep pressing the pin. Yeah. And we can modify it. Then we have calendar, same. When you see this arrow, you just keep pressing the pin and you will enter the relevant menu, okay? Okay. So here we can choose for every days of the week when you want to put the machine in a kind of you can mm, let it in off or on. A kind of eco mode. Okay, Alcohol cool. Thing. Yeah, yeah. When you use the machines more mm -hmm. during the week, okay? So yeah. We have also this feature to ensure energy savings. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's an uh, interesting feature, yeah. yeah. And then we got language. And here you can set between Italian, English, French, and Deutsch. Okay, cool. Then we have settings, which is a little bit uh, more technical part. Of okay, the okay. So here... It I means that it's more for the technician. Yeah, it's more for the technician. We can use 000, zero, zero yeah. password. And here, as you can see, the PID coffee boiler has some parameters that we suggest to keep like that. Okay. In order to not... Uh, Change. Yeah, this is for the technician. So PID means proportional, integral, and differential. It means how the uh, regulator or this uh, instrument reacts on the change of the parameter. Yes, so that's the reason yeah. why it is mm. a particularly technical menu. Yeah, and this you leave better to the technician. Yes, also probe sensitivity is a low or we can change to medium or high according to the hardness of the water. Okay. You have the counter, the dose programming, when is it turning in on, yeah. you can program the doses, mm. okay? And you can also put it off. So what does it mean? If it is on off, the barista, if randomly press, keep pressing yeah. the key, Like nothing, me, yeah. Exactly, it can, <laughs> can be, nothing happens. Yeah. Okay? But if you left on, on, then you can, of course, uh, do the, those programming. Yeah. Maintenance cycles uh, is a parameter to keep an eye on for the maintenance of the machine. Yeah. So we need that the maintenance is fundamental especially for the professional machines. Mm -hmm. Then you need temperature which can change between Celsius and Fahrenheit, according to the market, of course. The time outloading, uh, it is the seconds that the main boiler requires in order to have 
the complete refilling of water. It means that after uh, these seconds, the main boiler will stop loading water to the boiler. The water filter, so uh, the liters after when you need to change the water filter. Okay, good, yeah. So these are all parameters in order, mm. in order to keep under control the maintenance of the machine. Okay, and then we have model because we can, uh, I can show you. This is the same um, electronic board for all these models. Okay, yeah. So, especially here, we have Doppia, okay? Because it will be the same also for Sotobanco, which is another model for professional. Okay, players. yeah. No, okay, in this weekend. Okay. And then we got in standby. And if you want to re enter, Make sure to, to press at the okay. same time, first a P and then one dose. Okay, so I try. Yes. In order to change the parameters. No, you are already in the... Yeah, 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 yeah. So in so order to go down, just press the P. The P? Yes. Okay. Exactly. Okay, print fusion is okay. Calendar language. But I like to enter one more time the settings because I want to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius no, again. Course. Otherwise, it looks a bit, little bit strange for us. Yeah, here. Here we are. To Celsius, okay. Yeah. And then if I want to go to those programming to you go up. No, you, you can only go down by ah. pressing the P. Okay. okay, down and now number of two. groups. Exactly, because this machine yeah. will be available in uh, two and three groups. Yeah. Dry, steam dry system, okay. But I. Uh, okay, you need to do it another time. Okay, yeah, I was so. That always needs a little bit of time. Now I like to put it from off to on. How do I uh, press? Okay. Yeah, okay. Those programming on. Okay, good, parameter. good, okay, wonderful. And uh, now how to set one and second dose? This is now what we can do. Of course. Right? In order to program? Yeah. You need to push the P. Yeah until the groups will flash, like that. Okay. okay. Once the P flash, you can press the dose that you want to program, for example, one, two doses. Yeah. You press it. When you are satisfi satisfied, you repress it, and okay. you see that the P is not flashing anymore. It yeah. Means that the dose has been saved. Okay. okay, so we can just repeat it one more time. Yes. With coffee. <laughs> because without coffee, it's, uh, it's it's wrong. Not that easy. Because why it's wrong? Because coffee also absorbs water. Yeah. And so, um, yeah. We just do it now, not the very correct way, more the quick and dirty way, but this is just exemplary, okay, to show more or less uh, what we do. We do it with uh, the glasses in yes. order to have more transparency, transparency in our uh, programming. So yes. now, uh, Chiara, we start again. So here. Press the P. Press the P until it will flash. Yeah. Okay, here we go. It blinks. It blinks, exactly. So now. And now I can dose. enter. Exactly. For the double dose, press now the double. Exactly. Now I think we have the pre infusion time. Exactly. The six because seconds. We, we, yeah, yeah. So you said it before. Yeah. Now it runs out, also yeah. uh, too fast. And now it stopped automatically. Uh, why? Because I think we use the setting, setting, the previous setting, yes. Okay, and how to change the previous setting? 
we need to enter re-enter in programming. Yeah. Exactly. Now it blinks. Now we insert the filter holder. Now we press the double dose because it's a, a, the double filter holder. Now we have the pre-infusion time. Now the shot counter. Shot counter starts. And uh, when the quantity is okay, I press again this button, exactly. right? So now, for example. Exactly. We need to wait until the piece stops flashing. Yeah. And yeah. it is saved. Okay. So, so from now safe. on, we have always this quantity in the cup, okay? So, because it's a volumetric counting, okay? Yeah. yeah. So, that's it and uh, that's important for the barista to uh, set the single and the double dosing and to understand how to set the grinder, how many uh, coffee powder you use and uh, that's it. Yes, and moreover, if you yeah. want, you can program also the quantity of the hot water. Okay, the ah. same quality, same Okay, way. for the, the tea. Yes. Yeah. Ah, that's an interesting feature. Yes. Because in case somebody at a breakfast likes uh, a dark chilling tea. You repress when you okay. with the quantity. Super. And when the pee will yeah. stop flashing, it means that the hot water quantity will be saved like that. Okay. And also the temperature of the hot water can be set. Yes, it can set, but we need to reopen it a little bit. Okay. Screwdriver. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, because it's a kind of um, mixed water yeah. between the uh, hot water in the boiler yeah. and the water. Uh, exactly, production. yeah. For example, green tea needs a different temperature than black tea. So this yeah. is why you have two uh, hot water buttons. Uh, you can set the quantity according uh, here to single and double and the temperature you adjust according to what you want to serve by the bypass of cold water to hot water. Exactly. Yeah, that's it more or less. So machine is really cool. I like it very much. Also from optical part of view, you know, it's uh, yeah, like here a steam machine, you know. Yeah, like super toy. Okay, two grinders, one machine and uh, two groups. That's it, okay? Ciao, super, wow, grazie, ciao. Einen haben wir noch, okay. Uh, there is the difference between the dual boiler here and the multi boiler. Exactly. Uh, the dual boiler is okay for the entry level because yeah. the two uh, brew units have the same temperature. Exactly. But if you like to have uh, one brew unit with a 90 degree, the other one with 95 degree, like a dark roast or a light roast. You need to go to the multi-boiler machine, which is our R9, R9 yeah. where you can set a different temperature according to the group. Yeah. From two, we built that in two group and three group. Yeah, yeah. The, the best case, of course, the three groups, you can set each group at his own temperature. Okay, so then... On the basic doppia, you have only one opportunity. Okay. Only, only wild temperature. Yeah. This is more, uh, as I said before, like a, a working horse. Yeah, so yeah. A machine, very easy to use, uh, fast. Uh, Super. With, with a quite nice and good uh, temperature yeah. stability. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay, grazie. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs>